welcome to Tech Dive AV Club. This is Adam, and we're going to do an emergency white balance. Now, this shot was something white balanced by the camera, and to be perfectly honest, if this shot uh, came to me and someone said white balance it, and I didn't have any cards or tools to white balance it, I would only really white balance it if it wasn't matching the other shots, if it wasn't matching something else. This shot alone is okay, and I wouldn't touch it. Now, that being said, there is ways to try and white balance it even if you don't have a white card or if you haven't correctly white balanced in the first place. If you've already messed up, you already have something that needs to be white balanced, something that looks worse than this, uh, and you need to white balance it, the best way to do it is to first find something that's close to white. So you're going to want to hit this button right here this will sync your cursor that way what you what you create keyframes for will be what you're seeing in your preview window it's pretty important right now so I'm gonna create this first keyframe I want it on the white of this microphone now the next thing to do is to make another keyframe and make that a normal one so that way you can toggle back and forth and see what your white color looks like and what your whole shot looks like. So we're going to go to video effects and scroll down. There is a white balance effect. So you can drag that to your clip. Look at this. This doesn't have near the amount of tools that Pro does. This is one of the big differences. But you're going to have a few tools, something to work with here. So if you go to your white, and you can see it's actually a little blue. It's a touch blue, and that's the problem with this. Uh, it, like I said, it doesn't have a big problem, and since I don't have a white card, I normally wouldn't be doing it, but if you have to without it, what you can do is actually you can select a white color, and then, boom, hit that. Now, it'll try to fix the blue. Now, the problem is, is it fixes it a little too much. Now, that's pretty white right there, actually, but uh, I can kind of tell that it probably it needs to be backed down a little bit add a little more blue back to it. So now if we go to Vent Pan, Pan Carp, we can actually look and see what it looks like here. And this is this is without the white balance. You can see the more blue tint and then with the white balance it fixes that a little bit. One thing I'll do is suggest rising the brightness a little bit in this scenario. There we go. And that's that's pretty much what my room looks like now in the pro version we did some extra steps we went and we looked at skin tone and we looked at uh well yeah skin tone so uh with, with a vector scope so we do not have a vector scope in movie studio and uh so looking at skin tone would be really really rough there is another way you can do this if you want to do some color correcting without a color card you can go to video effects and you can go to the color corrector effect and drag that on it. Now the reason why I didn't suggest this first is because this is a little bit more of a guessing game in Movie Studio 16 Platinum because you don't have the vector scopes and things available in Pro and that those are really important and let you see kind of what the math is behind your color, something that's a little less biased because something to keep in mind, your monitor is lying a little bit uh, to you, e e unless you've got like a perfectly color balanced IPS monitor, um, your monitor is probably lying to you just a little bit. And so, so when it comes to directly influencing the colors and things, it's kind of difficult to do that uh, without it. Now, you do have these tools available. So, if the first the first white balance tool is a little less biased of a way to correct it, and so if you do have some sort of white in your shot, I would recommend grabbing that. These are your primary colors for the additive color system, and these are your primary colors for the subtractive color system. And so now you got all the primary colors up here. What you can do is actually, if your shot looks red, you need to move it away from red towards cyan. If it looks blue, you need to move it towards yellow. If it looks, you know, magenta, you need to move it towards green, and back and forth. So, so the thing is, and if you get this off whack, you can just double click it and bring it back. Here are some rules of thumb about the color corrector. If your skin is off, try the midtones. And so what you need to do is maybe if you've got too much blue, I think this shot's a little too blue. You can move you can hold control to move it real slowly. 
It'll help. It'll help keep you from moving it so quickly around it. Control kind of slows the mouse down. So hold control and just gently move it away from blue, just the opposite direction. Now, very, very gently move it away from blue. Moving away from the color is giving you a problem. So here's how to look at it. Look at your shadows. If your shadows are black and dark, if your shadows don't have a tinge to them, then uh, I wouldn't mess too with the lows more than you need to. Uh, mess with these maybe last if stuff starts getting messed up from the other from the other two sections. Your skin tone, if your, your skin tone looks off, it's your mids that are off. And your highs are where your lights are very bright and your whites. Those, are, those will be where the highs are mostly affected. And so you can see here that that change is different. It doesn't change my skin as much if I move that around. So for this situation, I don't think there's a problem with my highs or my lows. I think the problem's only with my middle. And I know it's a little too blue. And so we moved it a little bit towards yellow. And that tends to fix it. Now notice it's very subtle. It does not take much. If you think your skin tone's off or something, one thing you can do is actually, this is a cheat here, you can go to your video effects, go to black and white, and drop black and white on it. Now, you can actually go to 25% black and white. And what this does is it kind of rolls off some of your sharp color differences here. And this is a great cheap trick to kind of reduce your color problems. If you have no other options, now you have an option. So thanks for watching. Anything you buy through our affiliate links helps us out a ton. Uh, Movie Studio 16 Platinum is uh, something that we're covering more in a Udemy tutorial where we're doing Udemy how to how to actually edit like an editor. I'm pretty much taking my intro to editing class and I'm moving that into uh, Udemy. Now with the Vegas Creative Software platform, you can do that whether you have Vegas Pro or Movie Studio, but it's tailored more towards Movie Studio. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for the Unimi course. I'll see you next time.